It's a beautiful day here in Westminster, Maryland, and today I want to do an updated video on this armrest removal. Uh, just a reminder that my new armrest and pick guards uh, use this tape. Let's see if we can get it on camera. This is a very thin, and the red is a backing, very thin, uh, rubbery style tape. Works great for the armrest. And the reason why I use it is because the foam some people are having issues where the foam would get warmed up with their arm sitting here and it, it would slide down. So instead of offering both, I decided to go with just this tape because I really love it. It's such a great piece of tape for several reasons. One is because if you can see the side view, you can actually see through the tape. It's actually clear, uh, nice clean look on the edge there sticks really really well uh, no complaints whatsoever on having this slide and I'm gonna really push on this you can see just a tiny bit of movement and that's more of that rubbery kind of tape movement um, it doesn't move it stays in place really well now uh, what I want to do this why I want to do this is because um, I don't want you to damage your top taking this off you have to know how to take this off it is it is easy to take off you just need to do it the right way. I want you to think about this tape like you would the 3M tape on the wall where uh, you ha you're hanging like a painting or something and what you do is you take the tape and you pull down. As you pull downward, it releases off the wall. This is the same, this is the same way. And let me grab a toothpick. Grab this really quick. I found the easiest way to do this is to grab a toothpick because a toothpick is not going to hurt your finish and you're not going to be poking your finish anyway. What you're going to do, let's see if we got the camera right, uh, you're going to take your guitar and I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see this. Let's see if I can get this on video correctly. And what you'll do, and, and I, will, I will say that this, uh, I outfitted this guitar. This is a brand new Washburn. I got this about five months ago. It is for sale. Um, I did install this armrest as soon as I got it because as you can see, one, it looks beautiful. It goes very nicely with the top. And two, I want, I, I want people who play to, to be able to hear the absolute best of this guitar. And this armrest does that. So anyhow, this has been on there for about four months. Um, and you'll see, it makes no difference how old the tape is or how new the tape is. It all comes off the same way and it comes off very easily. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do, make sure I have this in the frame, take your pick and go between the tape and the armrest, not the body. You want to do the tape and the armrest. So kind of go in upward at an upward angle and push inward, or if you can get in this way, push outward. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this on camera doing it because I would rather have it pushed outward. It's going to make it easier to uh, take off. So if I get my arm in the way, I, sorry about that, but I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to have to put this down and give it a poke because it's easier to do at this angle. Actually, you know what? Let's do it from this end. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Let me turn this just a hair right closer. So I'm going to bring this up. I now have it between the armrest and the tape, and I'm pushing upward, and you can see my toothpick has come through. What I'm gonna do is drag it this way, and drag the tape out. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. See, I've dragged that tape out. Hopefully you can see that. So I want to grab some of that tape and pull it outward. So what I'm going to do is kind of mash it into the toothpick and pull upward a little bit. While I'm doing that, I'm going to pull up and this way. So upward meaning this way toward off the top and then away from the edge meaning upward this way. So I'm going to pull and pull this tape out. Now I'm going to pull this off of here, go back in and grab some more tape as I'm pulling upward and outward. Now you can see how this is coming off the top, starting to come off the top. So again, a little bit slower process. Let me see if I can get this in frame again. Let's see if I get it better. Here we go. I'm going to try to do this and keep an eye on the, where we are, okay? So 
now there's a nice big piece, and I just dropped my toothpick. Um, there's a nice big piece here. I'm going to pull this completely off the top. I'm just going to pick out a little bit. Let's see if I can get this off the top. See how stretchy this is? Now what you're going to do is pull outward. And as you need to, just kind of sweep your pick under here and pull. You can see how I'm pulling away and outward, keeping upward pressure. And I'm doing this very slowly. Typically, I can do this fairly quickly. And pulling the tape like, oop, that one broke. Pulling the tape sort of like 3M. So run your pick along the tape, pull some out, gently pull. Gently pull, broke again. And it's okay if it breaks, it's not a big deal. Just go in there and sweep your, your, your pick this way, okay? as you're pulling up. So I'm now wedging my fingers under here and gently pulling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the tape down. I'm just gonna run this between the tape and the pick guard now. So now you can see it's really coming up easy. When you get to a certain point, you'll be able to pull this off completely. So I'm separating the armrest from the tape and I'm leaving the tape on the body because that, that definitely seems to be easier. So you can just kind of poke and saw. You can see this is coming up really nicely. So I'm just going to kind of saw back and forth. I'm not going to pull it off completely um, in one sweep. Uh, and that's just because I don't want to damage the top, even though I I think because this sticks so well, I think it's a possibility. But where am I in the frame here? Let me move this down a little bit. Um, so you can see that tape is on the top. Okay. So let's continue with this. I'm going to move this camera a little bit. Just saw back and forth between the tape and the armrest, gently pulling up on the armrest. Okay, just like that. Now, when you get pretty close to the end, uh, you can just twist this off. And the, the, the best way to do that, and I'm going to put this back down so you can see what I mean. Get the toothpick out of the way. I'll readjust this. So with the tape about down to here, you can see this is moving pretty good. You can pull it up. The best way to take this off is to pull upward and outward. So up and out. And all we're doing is a little twist motion. Gently twist, gently twist. And see how that comes off? Now the tape is, it can, and it can end up on either place. It can end up on your armrest or it can end up on the top. If it ends up on the top, you just roll it off, roll and pull. So once you get, and I'll start from this end, so there's a piece that's up, pull. And this is what I mean about the 3M tape. I'll go a little bit closer here so you can get a better picture. Come on, let's get it. There we go. So I'm gonna pull. And if you pull, pull it too long, it'll break like that. So just kind of choke up on it and just pull. You can see how easily this comes off. So I'm just going to keep on pulling. If it breaks, it's okay. Um, if you by chance get a little piece and there's a tiny piece stuck at the end here, I'm going to pull the rest of this off. This typically does not leave any residue, and if it does, which you can see right here, teeny tiny piece right there, just take your, take your balled up tape here and do that, and it will come right off, or even easier, because you want to be able to see if there's any, anything left. And again, this typically does not leave a res. it's not really a residue, it's just a tiny piece of the tape. Just rub with your finger like you would to get like foam tape off. And it's all gone. There's there's nothing left. So it's just, basically it's just a little bit of tape that's left. So I'm gonna see if I can get a good close up here. There we go. There's the edge, the entire edge where the tape was. And again, this is why I really love this tape because it's very easy to remove. Get this back on the stand here. It's very easy to remove this armrest. Um, 
And, and it's kind of nice because, you know, chances are, and I would hope you wouldn't remove this from your guitar, but you can. Um, just slow and easy. And, and again, the, the, the best way to explain it is, I broke my toothpick. Kind of bent the end there. Take a toothpick, start from the end. With the tape here, you're going to poke up toward the armrest because you're not going to damage the armrest. Um, chances are you won't, you're not going to damage this either, but it's better to go against the armrest. So push against the armrest. You want to kind of saw back and forth, getting the, the tape between the tape and the armrest. And then when you get towards the end, halfway to, to two-thirds, you can lift upward and outward. Okay, if you have any questions, you can uh, message me through Messenger on Facebook. Uh, facebook.com forward slash mint strings or sales at mint strings.com.